and you guys have been asking for a little bit of shifting videos. So I said, why not try out this GoPro thing again? Double sevens, exit 77, just hit the 95 or about just under 10 miles into it. There's a pilot over to the left, but if you're coming southbound, this is a much better, uh, much easier off and on. The pilot has a weird um, driveway or sharing it with the passenger cars, the four-wheelers, and it has a stoplight right there. It's kind of weird. This one's easier in this type of day. It's not really busy. There's only three pumps on the backside, just a big circle right around and if you're hungry this is one of the only taco bells on this route that's inside of a truck stop all right let's see we got a couple containers chilling here that car is coming yeah we'll refresh here um i think i'm gonna try for brunswick again i like that big ta but if i'm not tired i can keep going because uh, it's only nine o'clock dang car should have went man you are going slow he was going slow, then he sped up, now he's going real slow. He's not even turning there, okay. All right, just a little old man. Take your time, buddy. And they just remodeled the inside of the store, too. Daytona. All right. We made it that far. Now, uh, 80 miles left and we are going to be at the drop. Our green APU kept us nice and cozy. Boop. All right, let's fire this thing up. Yes, but should be a nice day. Well, that sun is coming out. It's 85 degrees this morning. We're building something there. And there was a Dave and Buster's over there to the right. We took the kids there on Wednesday. There was one car in the parking lot. Good times. We've got Culver's, Arby's, everything you want. Miller's Ale House. Good times. And, uh, Daytona Motor Speedway is back to our, right behind us right now, about two miles, or probably a mile. And I wish we could stop, but not today. Over here to the left, we have the Buckies. Maybe on the way back, who knows? Looking at the load boards, not much coming out of Savannah. Today there is, but I won't be able to make, look at those clouds. Today there's some, but I won't be able to make it back up there. Um, it's gonna be a while before I get unloaded here in Lowe's. Probably won't be out of here till four or five if I'm lucky. And then I wouldn't be able to be back up in Savannah for a while if my clock resets, so. It's okay, we knew that coming down here. Um, but yeah, some cool looking clouds. Chevy, I don't know, is Impala? 
just for anybody that may be watching this or anybody, the officers like it when you put their life in less danger. So don't just pull over straight onto the the uh, center divide. Get over here to the right. Get way over there in that grass, like where the car can be less at risk the police officer's car. Um, I don't know, that's just something that mind boggles me sometimes. People that don't stop right on the line or right over there in the center of the I'm like, what? <laughs> Unless you are just super nervous and I, I just shut it down or your mind shuts down, I guess. But if you have some sense and you have a little bit of calm demeanor, then you're not gonna go crazy if you don't stop right away. You can get all the way over to the right, even get the next exit pull into a parking lot. So that's what I, I mean, I was pulled over in my Dodge Ram the other day. Um, downtown Greenville a week ago because they said the truck was too loud. But I said, okay, I get it. It says that so I can, yeah, just uh, don't, don't have the stereo up or anything like that. I'm like, okay, my bad, sorry. But they, I pulled off, I pulled into a parking lot where I had no way to get out, pull all, all the windows down. It just makes the officer feel more comfortable because they don't, um, they don't know who you are. They don't know what you have in that truck or how many people are in that truck or what you're going through that day. So just put them at ease because it was a lot nicer. And one thing I didn't know, uh, an officer always walks and touches the car. Did you ever notice that when they're walking up behind it, they touch the back a couple times to see. Um, I heard, I don't know 100% that that's kind of just checking for anybody maybe in the trunk or kidnapping or just feeling the, the vehicle, you know, see what it's, that's kind of, I uh, never thought about that. I always wondered why they touched the car. But that is a little thing that was on my mind this morning, little etiquette. Uh, everyone wants to be safe out here. Everyone wants to go home to their family. I want my truck to get me safely home and see my reason I'm on this lot in this world or reason I'm on this planet um, was for my family and for just do, doing good wherever I can and teaching my boys and be an example for them for what I can be for good. I'm not perfect, not 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 the slightest, but I do want to be as perfect as I can for them and, and being there for their lives and, and being invested in them and, and wondering what the heck they're doing. So. There's a little little rant on the highway for today, but right now we gotta hit the jigs and see what the heck's going on here. Why are we going so slow? Got a cement mixer up there. I need some of that cement. I got a lot of cement I want to pour out there at that property. Even though that property already has a bunch of cement, the one that I have for um, the lake, I want another driveway because I have that property originally was three separate um, parcels, three separate. Uh, homesteads, houses, and, and uh, the lady that lived there bought the other two after buying the original, so that's why there's so much land right there on the lake. So, but, but there's two other driveways I could have. The driveway to the north of the property, there's a gate, but it's just not wide enough, so I have to widen the gate, and I also want to concrete that driveway um, or an entryway, and then just gravel it up to the, the back side of the house, and then I can pull through. I can come in one side and go out the other side. Uh, with the boat or with my truck or whatever. So that's why the cement truck's running slow. But all right, Highway 4, stop rambling. Let's uh, do proper etiquette for these officers out here trying to risk their lives every day for us. And uh, get over here. We have about 50 miles left heading south. 89 degrees now. What would this video be without a little bit of water? There we go. I like coming over this little lake about the jetway kind of thing. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it goes out to the ocean or we're pretty far inland, so it's probably just a freshwater lake. But there's probably some gators around and some other stuff. I don't know. It's always a big body of water I like seeing. So there you go. I'm um, coming into Orlando. The, the highway's finally done. There's two express lanes that they were building that are separate from the whole interstate. That's awesome because there's no more construction. They're all done and open and rip on through them so that's awesome and where we're going is south of Orlando by like 10 15 miles so there's like three routes you can take there's a bunch of RVs there man we're gonna take the fastest one and it brings us down to 17 and welcome to Kissimmee Kissimmee Trail okay there's a Ritz Carlton back there um, on the right side really know that until I saw the sign. I saw a bunch of like um, landscaping people making some nice nice moves on some nice landscaping. So we are 89 degrees still down here. But we are in Kissimmee. We have only what four miles and take a left and there is Lowe's. Okay, Ham Brown Drive, a road. Uh, I just think of Hambone when I hear that. 
there's a funny um, voiceover kind of show that they put on for NFL coaches or NFL players too. Um, it's hilarious, but they have the Steelers coach saying Hambo. It reminds me of T-Dubs because she only remembers that coach because of that skit. So there you go. The Steelers looked, okay, looked pretty good. They actually got the win for Cincinnati, but Joe Burrow did throw three interceptions. Uh, defensive backs did play some good game that day. That's football talk. We are getting into Lowe's talk, so I'm hungry. We're an hour early for our appointment right now. Um, get over there and at least check in, and hopefully they when you check in, they make you drop your trailer right away, and there's a bunch of trailers that sit back, uh, back to back in this little lot, and then their yard jockey comes and grabs it and takes the door, they unload it, and then uh, they bring it back, so you don't have to break the seal or anything. You just drop your trailer, get your landing gear down, and wait, so be able to bobtail. I don't know if we're allowed to leave and get food. I can ask the guard shack, but typically they want you to stay on premises sometimes, these big ones. But I see two bobtails over there at racetrack, I don't know. And there's plenty of little restaurants that are back here on this road. Are we gonna make this one? I don't know. truck turn in here and I had one truck come out of here otherwise I would have been weary because there's not a there's a couple cranes those birds with long legs long legs at least they're not Canadian geese it says Lowe's down there so this is the only entrance though this is the main entrance so there's some cool birds tall birds it's like three and a half feet tall well, that one with the red red on his head I don't know the other two did not have red on their head you guys probably know more about those birds than me. Okay. We are in here. Let's see what we got. Let's see a couple bites. See all the bobtails right there, so. I, I, I saw the sign. <laughs> Thanks, man. So that was the first entrance I saw, and I followed the 26-foot box truck, which I don't know where he went, but this is for the uh, employees. And I wish they had a big giant sign that said truck entrance ahead. They do not. And then I got this guy. I don't know if he's bush hogging or what he's doing. But he's kind of taken up because the guy said you heard him back up right there. Where did that box truck go? Man, I wish I didn't follow you. Alright. No cars behind us. Trailer's straight. Back it up, Terry. Safety is a core value. Okay. Yeah, that guy's doing something right there. I just had to use a little bit of that room next to him to get my trailer back, and then I can pull back out. So there must be another entrance further down. Any of you people out there that might have any uh, administration administration jobs or anything for these big companies, signs help truck drivers so much, especially truck drivers that don't come here all the time. All right, F-250, I'm gonna try and miss your, uh, your hood there and your mirror. There we go. Okay, then we'll go right back to the road we just came in on. Maybe we'll see those birds. Well, they were over here on the left, and now they're, they've migrated across the way by the, uh, that's the guy that probably had that truck parked right there. Somebody took out that sign. Uh-oh. He's going to put it back up. But yeah, those are cool birds. Okay. So they don't have a sign saying truck entrance ahead, but they do have one that once you pull in here says truck turnaround. <laughs> oh man, okay. Okay, now we're back out here. Maybe, I mean, you might have saw it if you uh, had these trees not in the way. You would see truck entrance along the low side, but uh, it's my bad. I'll know for next time. But the last time I was here was probably, oh, definitely over two years ago, maybe my first year and I was in my Volvo so there you go the truck entrance sign brought Neva back there where the employee sign is too but whatever and the address actually takes you there so no worries no worries but I remember this place let's go get in line we're 45 minutes early 
finally got up here. It took us about 20 minutes. And I definitely think NFI has this account because they're everywhere. All right. <clears throat> Set the brakes. Take our paperwork. It says bring your photo IDs. We'll grab our wallets, paperwork, pen, and you guys. Check with you first, or I go inside, yes, but All right. Okay. Two copies. The top is the your guys. The bottom is mine. Uh, what's your check number? Uh, Three one six. Okay, so I saw everybody had their vests on, so I put mine on. But then after I get out there, I give him all his paper. He's like, "Oh yeah, you just slide your tandems. Why not have a sign that says that also? You had a sign that said, um, get your photo ID, but no sign that said slide your tandems. And two guys in front of me did not have their slid, so I don't know. Who knows? We're gonna slide them right now, nice and gently. There we go. They're sliding." There we go. So yeah, let's have Sign Awareness Week. Trucker Appreciation Week, Sign Awareness Week. We'd appreciate that more than appreciation. Awesome, thank you. What's here? All right. talking to me? Yes. Sir. Okay. <laughs> I don't know which one they're going to give you. Oh, for the paperwork? Okay. Back to the trailer. No know? worries. I just was told that by the shipper, so that's why oh, yeah. they said it says it on they're top of it. They're probably going to take this one because they verified Got the numbers the on it. There you go. I don't care which. I don't know. I don't think it matters really. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have the seal right here. Open the right door. Place this on the wall on the right hand side. Okay. okay. You're going to drop it 1005. It's not a door, it's just a parking. There's a water tank right here. It's on the other side of that water tank. Okay. I've been here like two years ago. I vaguely remember it. Well, I'll tell it to the front and we'll call you when they're done. Cool. Thank you. doesn't make sense to me um, that process is fine I don't, I don't really care uh, the sliding the tandems thing um, the trailer maneuvers way worse think about your tires and your your tracking of your trailer following your truck with the tires all the way in the very back is way wider of a turn than if you had them in the front so for parking purposes which this place has a lot of room it's not really a big deal but if it was a smaller place like Kimberly Clark and Beach uh, Island South Carolina, right by Georgia, um, it becomes a problem. So I, don't, I get it. I, the probably the reason they do it is because people say they're going to slide their tandems and then they never do. They forget or whatever. So I get it why it's done, but uh, this makes it. But this place has plenty of room. Huge place, not a big deal. But if it didn't, it would be like, uh, why do we do it that way? So now we get to get over in 1005. They have nice signs along the fence right here, and then. Uh, disconnect and go back out there and wait for a call. It looks like one thousand <laughs> wide open. Wide <laughs> so who cares if your tandems are slid? 1005 is right in the middle of all these. So there we go. Keep your doors closed. They open them themselves. We just got to slide this thing right there in that uh, spot. But if you didn't have this much room, it really wouldn't be hard to maneuver the trailer. But we have a lot of room. Man, it brings back memories. Volvo memories. I uh, haven't been here since the Volvo days. So it took me that long of a turn just to get my trailer to go back straight. And now I'll back it up, back it up, Terry. The hazard's on, and get that trailer to come back around. There's a tiny five on the ground, and then there's a 1,005 back on the sun or on the fence.
Okay, guys, that was some sweet drone footage, right? All right, and you guys have been asking for a little bit of shifting videos. So I said, why not try out this GoPro thing again? The GoPro did make me um, have to like tr do a new uh, download, new update. So hopefully that update fixes the problem with Apple where it doesn't, uh, doesn't mesh very well. <laughs> Uh, it would like have the uh, voices being off. So check our mirrors. No be bad there. We're gonna get some food, guys. It's gotta take at least an hour. That was some cool drone shot footage, right? Um, nice little place out here, cool lakes, and you can see a big lake out that way behind us. So yeah, there you go. You got some GoPro footage. You know, this will be something with, that occurs more often if that GoPro. Um, is cooperating if it's <laughs> if it cooperates with Apple products because it didn't before it was hard it's like I was editing two videos speed limit 40 and we're gonna head over here about three miles away there's a little uh, restaurant there's like a couple restaurants up this way so let's go check them out I'm not using the um, split side of both gears right now because we're empty, we're bobtailing. You really use it when you're heavy, um, but not right now. And that is the last gear right there, that's 17th. If we hit this little switch right here, push it forward, let off the fuel a little bit and got back on it gently, we'd be in 18th gear. But um, that's the thing about splitting gears and, and uh, floating gears, what they call it, where you're not using the clutch, is you just be gentle really can abuse your drivetrain or abuse your drive shaft U joints and all the components inside your transmission your flywheel everything's getting beat up if you're really being aggressive on the throttle if you're just nice and smooth with it off and on you're like a machine yourself so yeah let's come with me for this next two miles see how this goes see how you guys enjoy it with me in your face and the camera above to see what I see kind of looking out the windshield well you see that anyways but I guess from up there now and then I'm up here in the corner, so. The new format I was thinking about, I saw it on a couple other different people's channels. Um, Velox, uh, trucking with Velox 18, V-E-L-O-X. He, he gave me the idea today. Um, great family man. If you don't have his, watch his channel already, watch his channel. His name's Nick, he's a good guy. You can tell to the core. He's a good person, just out here trying to make money for his family, just like I am. So check out his channel, guys. He's got a nice gear built. He does reefer work. He just moved out to Tennessee. California and uh, give, him a, give him a like, give him a subscribe, help him get on his journey with YouTube also. Because it's not easy guys, we edit. Like I, I respect what he's doing right now. He's editing a bunch of videos, just like I do. I'll go here and sit down, I will look for loads and I will edit uh, whatever footage I have today up until this point. And then I just add footage as I go. And by the end of the day, hopefully it's not too late in the day. Because the, the time of day that you load your video is also pretty important. For me being on the East Coast, it's it's nice to have it out like 7.30, 8 o'clock, but sometimes the loads don't work that way, and uh, I'm not getting footage till the end of the day, and it's not loaded until midnight, sometimes one in the morning. That's another thing, then when you're loading the video, <laughs> you have to save the video. After you're done editing everything, your sound's added, your intro, outro, whatever, um, then you have to save it as a whole one file on your phone, or whatever device you're using, then you have to upload it to good old YouTube. So. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's not easy, guys, but I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate what YouTube has done for our family. Um, it's been a huge blessing. So it's not, it's another full-time job, but I don't mind it, guys. I like talking to you guys. I like showing people that are coming into the industry just little quirky things that you, if you've never sat, I never sat in a semi-truck. Maybe it went in one time when I was a kid, like one up the steps on one. My uncles drove for uh, Lucky's out there in uh, Southern California. Uh, Lucky's grocery stores. I didn't really know and then my uncle drove for UPS for a while too. But I never really hung out with them and went on a truck. I just saw a truck one time. I never like been in a cab, felt the brakes, seen how it works, seen the back of one uh, until I went to CDL school. <laughs> we were lucky enough to have some T660s, um, two brand new ones that were like donated off a of fleet that 500,000 miles. I actually tried to buy them. I tried to buy one. I was like, can I buy one of these from you guys? Because <laughs> they bought them for like $28,000. Nice trucks, all white. Uh, not the huge sleeper, but the 72s. And I loved, because there was like eight different trucks you could go out in every day, and whoever got those two, I like driving them. Same thing, but it had a 10-speed Cummins, but it had the same exact motor that I got. Um, 
uh, ISX 15 2250 serial number serial box. Uh, can we make that? What do you guys think? Yes, I think we can. Because we're Bobtail. And we're just waiting for a phone call right now, so we'll go down here. Uh, oh, someone's putting their hand Okay, he's just turning. We'll get freshened up, get a little grub, and then we'll be ready uh, to go ahead and get back going up north once we're ready to go, once they call us. All right, right turn. That's a nice Corvette. Nice uh, C8. So on this shifter, I also have a toggle in the front, low side, high side of the gear. So when you're starting out slow, you can be all the way down in granny gear, bottom right, up top left is reverse. And uh, then you just go through that same pattern, but in the, uh, oops, I went too far. Same pattern, but went in high side. Now I'm gonna flip from ninth, I'm on a little hill, and use the split side of ninth, or I call it ninth, because I used to have a 10 speed, but it's really, uh, what, 15th and 16th. Now I'll put it back again, come down to 17th and I'm just cruising and 18th might be a little bit too much for we're going 45 miles an hour hope that helps you guys understand that 18th speed is not much different it's just different patterns but it's the same concept for the 9 speed a 10 speed a 13 speed and an 18 speed and the 13 speed and 18 speed they both have the little selector on the side but uh, 18 has more gears okay it's saying it's up here on the right and 0.4 miles 0.4 but yeah, let's see how this works, guys. GoPro footage coming back into play. We'll see if that new update actually did anything for us. And if anybody has a uh, suggestion on somebody in Greenville that can replace those windows, I'm pretty sure my insurance will cover it. I don't know if it'll hurt my deductible. But, um, oh, sorry, guys, you're, you're stopping quick with me. Let's see if we got any room to fit in here. Barely to get by, but I don't want to block anybody. It would be nice if we could have went right there. But, uh, Got something sticking out the back of his truck. Don't want to hit his truck. Don't want to hit the curb. Kind of a small parking lot. You guys can see how uh, semi trucks don't really fit everywhere. But I almost missed that turn. I thought it said 0.4, but it said 400 feet. Let's see if there's something back here. Oh, oh yeah, taking out some trees. Yeah, we can go back there. Hide out in the corner. Nobody puts baby in a corner. Let it put us in a corner. But it has good reviews of. Uh, some food right over here. And you don't ever want to get in this grass, like you see this grass right here on the ground, especially in Florida. Could be mushy. Could uh, could be a not getting out of that situation kind of thing. Nobody coming out. Nobody backing out. We are good. Hide her back in the corner back here. Of course, this is the only kind of stuff you can do. Bob Taylor cannot do this uh, with your trailer. But there we go. Oh, that's a big never mind. Uh, they don't open until three o'clock. <laughs> oh, I didn't see that on the uh, on the uh, at navigation, but whatever. The other place is open until noon. But I just said, hey, there is a Publix. I love public subs, and I'm gonna go eat one. If you've never tried a public sub, you are missing out. You gotta try it. They're like $7.50 with tax, I think. And these little cookies right here, called McCroons. Oh yeah, those are T-Dub's favorite. She'll love you forever if you buy her some of those. We got a little bit of line though, but hey, we'll get unloaded. They just got some good food in here. Good little deli shop inside the Publix. We'll wait our turn. Yeah, we're Yeah, I'm talking about sandwiches. Oh, okay, yeah, sucker. What food stamps can you get? That's it. Thank you. You do. Thank you so much. Pretty on it at the Publix. He said, find a spot or park somewhere else. Okay, okay. Got our sub. Let's get some lunch and let's get our trailer unloaded. Oh 
Okay. You know what that guy's doing in the town? He's just been sitting there. Find a parking spot. And I already edited and uh, put together that clip from the GoPro. It just took a while to get the clip from the GoPro to the phone, like downloading it, because it's like a nine minute clip, so. Yeah, not no long clips or you just sit there all day and wait for it to load to your phone. But whatever, it was 4K, so it's clear. Cool though, GoPro might be in the works for a little bit, we'll see. Hey Sam, just had a quick question. You have a load on Truck Smarter um, going to, from Jacksonville to Anderson, South Carolina tomorrow. Um, I have a reference number of 0850732. One 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 four zero six. Uh, she so picking up tomorrow. Um, it's first thing in the morning. Um, like six a.m. Does that work out for you? That's what I see. I'll be unloaded right now in uh, Orlando area, so I can get up there tomorrow. The only problem that you and I both know is that Pepsi Logistics is a nightmare. <laughs> but uh. <laughs> I live kind of by Anderson. I'm gonna go home for the weekend, so I could drop it Monday. What What are they? Can they get around 12 or 13 on that, or what are they looking at? Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think we can even get close to that. Uh, 600 is what we can do on that. And that's crazy. I'm getting 800 from Savannah back to my house, which is on the way. So, all right, man. If you want to, if you want to. guys to book better <laughs> all right if you want to send me a carrier pack man if you get bored rmt freight at gmail i don't think i'm set up with you guys i've never i've just noticed just noticed you guys on truck smarter but i gotta give you that's it I gotta give you a top score though for answering the phone quicker than any broker I've ever called. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> we tried to, man. We tried. All right, buddy. Yeah, send me that email and I'll see if I can do something with you later. Have a good weekend. Dude. So that right there was just a little interaction with a new broker I've never heard of, Axel Logistics. Never heard of them. Um, but they uh, had the load going right back to where I'll be this weekend. And I said, okay, well, what can we do on that? But 600, oh my goodness, you guys, please don't book them for that low. That's because Anderson, if you're looking at the map, you can't really go, you can either go Atlanta side or you can go my side, Greenville, and then you have to come back to the middle of the two. So you could take the squiggly road up the middle, but oh goodness, uh, that wouldn't be very fun. So we're going to turn on our green APU. That says 300 and whatever, 90 miles, but really if you're going around the outside, it's going to be 450, 475 the way you're going to take interstate. So think about that when you're booking these loads. Plus it's 45,000 pounds, plus it's Pepsi. All right, APU's on. Let's wait for our trailer to come back right over there. And we just got the call and the weather moved in. We had some crazy lightning going off right around here. A little storm cell. But yeah, she said, come get your trailer. I said, okay. That flag is a flying. Heartland Express is also in on that. Yeah, thanks, man. I tried to show him a piece of paper I got, but he said, Did you get a call? I said, Yep. Yeah. And from Lowe's, I think we're going to wrap this video up. Pray we see something on the board. We're going to try and get up to Jacksonville. Um, 
then from there, go ahead and look at the board again and see if we're gonna stop at Savannah or if we're gonna keep rolling. But hope you guys had a great week. Let's look forward to the weekend and keep this economy and this America moving. Let's pray for each other, pray for the world. Um, just try to have fun with our family and enjoy this life, enjoy every day the sun comes up and the sun, the sun goes down. That's what it's about. What else are we doing? Do you need any papers? Oh, that little one? Okay. Yeah. I only got that one up on my visor. Okay. Go grab it. Thank you. Thank you. All right. There you go. Thank you. And on that note, God bless you. Let's get out of this rain. Let's get home. And I'll see you on the next one.